This is Alim from Javelin. Thank you very much to all of you who participated into the sixth weekly power user challenge because the brainstorming gave me quite a, quite a few ideas and hopefully it gave you quite a few ideas. One of the ideas was to expand the problem and uh, make it scalable. In this example, I'm trying to create a chain of pebbles. Each and every one of them is in contact with at least another pebble. There cannot be any interference. So if I move them in space, let's move the, the green one. Notice how it's still in contact with the other two. But if I'm getting closer to the white one, it should push it out of the way. Same thing for the white one. It can move, move, move. And whenever it's going to try to touch either the green one or the brown one, uh, it's going to push them out of the way. So how do you achieve something like this? Let's take a look. I'm going to suppress all the parts, leave only the first one, the fixed part. And unsuppress the second pebble. At this point, this can move freely in space. It can interfere with the brown one. So what I need to do is to add a connector between the two of them. Allow me to unsuppress the connector. The connector is an empty part, it doesn't have anything but the origin and the main planes. And if I'm showing you those origins, we can see how the front plane acts as a boundary between the, the two pebbles. There are two coincident relations between the, uh, the connector and the fixed part and also the moving part. The front plane itself is tangent to the fixed part and is tangent to the moving part. So no matter what, the front plane is going to ensure that they would never interfere. This to double tangency. While the coincidence is going to ensure that they would touch each other. Let me bring one more pebble. The green one. Again, it can move freely in space until I add one of these connectors. So the connector, as I said, ensures contact. How do I ensure that these two are not touching each other? Well, I am going to add another reference part. I'm going to call it limiter. It's going to establish a limit. So let's unsuppress this one. The mates for the limiter are similar to what I had before, but it will stay in contact with the green part tangent, the front plane is going to be tangent to this and also tangent to the other one on the opposite side of the front plane. So as you move one of the parts, you can get contact, but the contact is not necessary. No matter what though, the parts are going to stay on each side of the front plane. They would never going to be able to cross the front plane. And you can add more parts. Um, another thing that I would like to, to ensure is that if I add another pebble, like this one, I have a connector. So it's going to be connected to the green part. But then I need to add two limiters, one between these two. So I'm going to add a limiter there and a limiter here. So two more limiters. So every time you add one new part, now becomes a problem of scale. You have to add the connector to at least another part and then uh, number of limiters equal to the total number of components in the chain minus two, so n minus two, becomes uh, harder to manage, but at least theoretically this should be scalable. Let me know what you think. Thank you.